What are you talking about? I've got to lay in a bunch of buckets and a bunch of goose. Oh. How are you feeling? Never better. And what about coaching? You're gonna have to find someone else. We're in full damage control mode here. You're a terrible coach. I had to call your old high school. Thank you. So you think if I coach a bunch of kids, that's gonna get me back to the league? I was relieved that an audience laughed, that they cheered when the you know all the winning elements are happening in the game. And, you know, it could feel a little bit of people feeling the feels at a couple moments, you know, when it gets dramatic. So, you know, you just hope that it connects with an audience. And so when it does, you're just like, oh, thank gosh, because otherwise it's just it's all anxiety 24 seven. How did you balance the comedy with making sure the audience still felt the weight of the film's more serious moments? You know, trying to find a balance totally in a film is like it's it's one of the most difficult things and ensuring that all the cast is in the same sort of tonal range. The, everyone's making the same movie. Everyone's in the same world. There's always a challenge. You know, from the script, we really had something that we knew was going to be let's lead with comedy, because if you make them laugh, it's easier to make them cry. Those are my favorite movies growing up. Well, I can tell you, you definitely brought Bilal to life. What stood out most to you about Bilal's internal journey? Whoa. That we all face the same thing. I mean, as an actor, I can get a job today and my bank account is, you know what I mean? Like, you just being real, right? Bilal was going through this stuff where he's making all this money playing here, playing there, and he just forgot the simple thing of like, where where'd you come from, man? Like, you can, you have this crazy, you know, career contract and in China and you're playing basketball, but you have nobody to talk to. It is redemption. It is uh, dropping an ego that is stopping you from being the best person you can be and accepting who you truly are or who another person is in the storyline of Macaulay Cassidy's character, uh, Bettina. How important was it for you to see, you know, the gender communication element of this movie come together? To start a conversation, right? And to make it make it okay to do that. Like I, I, you're getting deep because it's, I, I knew these things going in and I'm like, like, I want it to be okay to just for someone to be like, yo, I'm, I represent, I, I identify as they, and I'm still making I'm a cool movie. Like, you know what I mean? Like, it doesn't have to be like a thing where it's, it's just focused on that and pushing it down your, it's like, if you can just talk about it, let people figure it out themselves. And I think that's what Shane did. And that's the brilliance of Shane. It's like, figure it out yourself. You're going to feel like it's a human being and figure it out yourself. What's your answer? There was such an, a natural on-screen connection between Andrew and Jordan. What was that challenge like of, of finding the right duo for this? When the producers were like, hey, listen, we're speaking with Andrew Dice's Clay team and, you know, he's read the script and he's interested. I'm like, oh, my gosh, are you kidding me? That's like at first it was like it kind of threw me like, wait a minute, because you think about Andrew Dice Clay, the Santa performer. But then I had to think about Andrew Dice Clay and Blue Jasmine, Andrew Dice Clay and A Star is Born. I'm like, oh, yeah, he's a phenomenal actor. They both were so generous with each other. Like so when they do a take and they'd argue and they'd fight, and they'd, they'd go at it. But then afterwards, they would just high five and laugh and hug it out and uh, it was really great to see a bunch of athletes who watch this will relate with Bilal's path was that in the back of your mind while developing the character in your head 100 100 I reached out to NBA players um I reached out to professional players overseas I wanted to make this like so real in the sense of not you know people they got me you got me hype right now but um, people try to make these movies and they want to, oh, we're going to make it real, real. I, 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 didn't, I just want to pull that aside and just, why am I making it real? Here's a guy who literally worked his ass off, got to a professional career as a basketball player. He has a temper. He has an anger problem. How does he fix this in his life? He goes back to this small town and helps the kids that went to his old high school to win a championship. Well, Jordan, thank you so much for joining me. Remember, Warrior Strong releases September 29th in theaters and all digital platforms.